What's up everyone? So in this video, we're going to be talking about a classic investment asset, which is gold. As I share with you, updates on one gold mining stock, which is very new to the markets. And they recently completed their entry into the Nasdaq and they have some very interesting plans. So make sure you stick around to hear from their chairman, sharing insights from their initial public offering and why investors should take their offer seriously. And investing in gold is a popular strategy for diversifying investment portfolios and hedging against economic uncertainties. And gold has been recognized as a store of value for centuries and is considered a safe haven asset. And when investing in gold, one could be looking at fiscal gold where you can purchase gold bullion bars or a gold exchange traded fund gold ETF or gold mining stocks which involve investing in gold mining companies which provide exposure to the potential profits and risks associated with mining operations. And that's what we're going to be covering today. So since experiencing lows of over $1,600 per ton since September of 2022, it has since bounced back and now trending towards all-time highs of over $1,900 per ton, which is a brilliant position to be in. So the opportunity presented here is one on diversification and allocation of your assets through gold to help hedge and improve your overall portfolio performance. Again, the specific allocation depends on your risk tolerance, your investment goals and time horizon. So just a brief overview there on gold investing and why you may want to consider having them in your portfolio for you to do your own DD as this is not financial advice. And with that out of the way, please drop a quick like on the video and hit the bell so we can get talking about US Gold Mining Inc, ticker number USGO, US Gold, which is now sitting at $14.70 per share with a market cap of $178 million. And what a performance they've had since getting listed on the Nasdaq earlier this year and now being up by 62% on the year-to-day horizon. So needless to say, the markets have seen the potential in their resources, their outlook and management team, which all look very favorable. So clearly some exciting times ahead for them. And so as we always aim to buy low and sell high, these are still early days for this stock as they trade at year-to-date highs. So if you believe in their story or their outlook, some patience will be required for any pullbacks for you to load up and ride on to bank what US gold mining has to offer investors. And the other beauty with this play is that not only are investors rewarded with their share price performance, which makes this play a real win-win opportunity. So here's the latest on US gold mining, which you need to be aware of. US Gold Mining Inc. is a newly minted exploration and mine development company focused on unlocking the substantial value of the Whistler Gold Copper Project located in Alaska, USA. And US Gold Mining completed an IPO in April of 2023, listing on the Nasdaq and raising $20 million to be used for exploration and mining studies of the Whistler Project. And US Gold Mining is managed by an experienced team and board of directors who are motivated to unlock substantial value by advancing the extensive and exciting Whistler Gold Copper Project. And when you look at the management team, there are some familiar faces we've spoken about in the past, starting with their chairman here, Alistair Steele, who also doubles as the CEO of Gold Mining Inc. and Director of Technical Services at Gold Royalty Corp, Groy, which we've covered multiple times on the channel. And another familiar face, which is a common denominator across all these companies, is a star commodities entrepreneur, Amir Anani, who thrives in spotting value-creating opportunities for shareholders across uranium and gold. And when you look at the experience of some of the management, you see a lot of new mods and gold mining in experience amongst others. So some solid pedigree there for the management teams and backers of US gold mining. But before we go any further, let's hear from the chairman Alistair Steele on their latest IPO and what investors can expect from this new gold mining venture going forward. What's going on in your company? Well, I guess we'll go right into the most exciting development, of course, is the recent announcement. We've launched our IPO yeah. of U.S. Gold Mining, Inc. Very excited to be part of a team that's taking our Whistler project in Alaska. Mm -hmm. We're looking to rediscover this project, which already has a very sizable resource uh, of close to 10 million ounces. There's 3 million ounces of measured and indicated gold equivalent ounces and almost 6.5 million ounces inferred gold equivalent ounces. So a very sizable project great jurisdiction of Alaska. We're looking to raise money on that and create value for our shareholders. 
We've uh, launched uh, the IPO with $20 million mm -hmm. raise. Uh, that is designed to get us through a two-year program of drilling. Okay. Plan to drill 20,000 meters, take the project to PEA status. We've got a dedicated technical team led by our CEO, Tim Smith, who's an exceptional explorationist with great uh, success and discoveries he's made in the north. He's worked extensively in Yukon, so he knows the northern latitudes very well. We brought him over from Newmont last year, so very excited to have Tim leading us as the CEO of that company. We'll drill the 20,000 meters and look to make some new discoveries as we better define what we already know to be there. We have a very large land package. It's over 50,000 acres. Mm -hmm. And I was recently traveling through New York, so we gave people the local equivalent, which is almost four times the size of the island of Manhattan, to put it in perspective for many of our viewers. So it's, wow. a, it's a big regional land package. We have a sizable resource. We see some excellent targets for making some new discoveries. We have a regional camp we see developing. There's a property to the west of us who have also made a discovery in the last couple of years. So collectively, we're seeing a real regional play. It's attracting a lot of attention for the majors and the intermediate producers, particularly now with the importance of copper. Our project has close to 30% of the revenue is in copper. Mm -hmm. There's over a billion pounds of resources in copper in our project. Very excited to advance that component of the project as well. Wow, because everybody knows copper is also the future. Everybody is interested in copper and yeah, the demand and the supply will be explored for the, uh, for the future. Exactly. We, we very much believe that as well. It's certainly very strategic. Alaska is a great jurisdiction to be in. It's a very pro-mining. It's at the core of their economy. And in fact, the state themselves are trying to encourage economic development and have announced a road to resources program where they're stimulating economy by doing feasibility studies to build a road and that road would go right to our project to connect us to a port near Anchorage, the largest city in Alaska, which is a huge catalyst for moving our project forward. We'll be announcing uh, advancements at Whistler, at Whistler as we get our drill programs activated by the summer. We've already begun the work on the PEA at La Mina, so definitely some uh, catalysts and sources of news coming up for our shareholders. What an opportunity, right? They also recently announced that they had mobilized field teams to execute on the 2023 exploration program at the Whistler Gold Copper Project in Alaska. And Tim Smith, their CEO, commented that they are now fully funded and permitted to start their inaugural exploration program at Whistler. They have engaged leaders in the industry with significant local knowledge to execute their exploration plans and they are excited to commence on the phase one of the program. And with several exploration targets already identified, they are eager to get to work and drive forward the rediscovery of Whistler. So in summary, US gold mining has been created to advance and unlock value of the 100% owned Whistler project. They have significant undeveloped gold copper deposits in North America with exploration upside. And with a management team with proven track record in exploration and resource development and additional catalysts as exploration permits and good infrastructure, the outlook of this gold mining stock couldn't be any better. So some very, very interesting insights worth considering for US gold mining, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buyer or seller recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting gold mining stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I'd love to hear from you. So please let me know your thoughts on these top gold stocks in the comment sections below and what other gold stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having my next video. Thank you.